Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to replace the lower sprocket on your lower unit. You, if you have an HDR, regular HD or even a mini, this is what you're gonna be looking at right here. When you get to this part, you have 730 seconds uh, set screws on this side right here. I don't like using power tools because they, they, they tend to break even more when they are used. They, they might be a little rusty and whatnot. So if you can just hand tools, that's all I like to use. And again, it's a 730 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and take them out. Okay, so here's a little trick that I know not a lot of people know. There is, you're gonna have these two holes where they, the set screws are, and then you're gonna have this third one. There's a, there's a reason for that one. You wanna grab one of these set screws, and then just thread it into this. What that's gonna do, that's gonna separate the sprocket from the bushing. <clears throat> See that? There we go. Now the bushing is gonna be stuck onto the to the shaft. What you want to do carefully, just jam a flat head screwdriver right here, move it side to side, and, and that is gonna open up the bushing so you can slide it out. Once it's out, put it on the table, get your set screw out, and that's it, it's out. And to put it back on, it's, again, it's really simple. We just have to follow the same instructions, just backwards. Just make sure you guys clean up the shaft a little bit. There is no uh, dust, there is no dirt, there is no rust. That's the most important thing, rust. You don't want to have a lot of rust in there. So put it on. You want to apply some Loctite. Okay, so we're gonna snug it in place into place. When it's pretty pretty snug, just go ahead and tap it slightly on the side. So it's all the way back and it's straight. Now on these ones, you gotta be really careful. You wanna you wanna tighten them evenly. You don't if you don't do that evenly, what's gonna happen, your sprocket is gonna be go, doing this. You don't want that. That's gonna ruin either bearings or your transmission, your clutch, or even the belt's gonna break. Once you have it like that, you have it pretty tight. You know there is no space between the, there's, it's pretty even. There's no room between, there's no garbage. There's nothing behind here. You go ahead and tap it again. Set your torque and torque it. Just check the, the description. We're gonna list all the, all the specs, torque specs and your lock types that you need to use. And that's pretty much it. You wanna grab it, put it back on your motor and you're set. You're good to go.